Thank you. Thank you for unmuting me. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. All right, let's see, anything else? Start my video. Okay, yes, I was gonna start the video too. So, all right. So again, if you didn't hear me, this is Chair Yoga. And welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm Angie. I'm teaching here for Prime Plus in my sunroom. A couple things to have, maybe a block if you have one. Again, you can use a rolled up blanket, a pillow, a nice fur pillow, or even uh, an old box, box from like uh, whatever store you buy from Target, uh, Amazon, and, and also a strap. So if you don't have a strap, a belt works just fine. So use an old belt, helps you to stretch parts of your body, your shoulders, your arms. So just listening, listening to all of your body, being aware, having awareness from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let me adjust the video so that you can see my feet a little bit better. And welcome to everyone on Facebook. People are hiding out today, not wanting to come on Zoom. So welcome to all those that are on Facebook and just being here, especially before Thanksgiving, before maybe you get together with family and a big meal, just clearing out the mind and finding perspective. Maybe thinking of priorities, especially after this year, sometimes it brings more awareness to what our priorities really are. So as we struggle through this year, as, as we have suffered, or even as we've watched others suffer, so maybe you haven't been affected as much as others have. Um, just watching others in their trials may also bring awareness to your priorities, to your perspective, for today, for this month, for the year, for the rest of your life, maybe. So, remembering that in yoga, <clears throat> the breath is really the most important part of the practice. Our pranayama, pranayama, our life force. Breathing in, that life force, that oxygen, however it is that you Visualize it, however you assign a name to it. And exhaling out all that you don't need. And it can be just the breath, or it can be much more figurative. Breathing out all the worries, stress, anxieties that you might be feeling. And allowing this hour here to be more of a sanctuary for you. Breathing in and out. Sitting with your sit bones completely onto the chair. Making sure you have a good sturdy chair. And if we stand, that it will support you as you stand and will not slide from under you. Making sure you are open, have no obstacles in your way as you extend arms up and around. And then sitting up tall, feeling the extension through the belly, the shoulders, back, the top of the head reaching up to the sky. Pressing your feet into the floor, knees are right over the ankle. And inhaling, arms come up, reaching up, standing up through the fingers, 
exhaling all the way out, opening up, squeezing the shoulders. And opening up the shoulders, your arms come forward, breathe in, exhale, hands come down, either palms are up or down, whatever is comfortable for you today. Finding maybe a mudra if you know and understand the mudras. And then slowly breathing in through the nose if you can. Exhaling everything out. Closing your eyes if comfortable. And if not, you're welcome to gently gaze down. Removing all of your thoughts. Directing your mind inward. Focusing on the breath. Knowing that the breath is the most important part of the practice. The breath should never be held. If you do find that you are holding the breath, know that you should back off, modify or adjust your pose. You may rest. And then come back to the breath. Inhale, arms come up, extending, reaching up, and exhaling, bringing the hands down onto the thighs, lifting up to the top of the head, and exhaling, chin to chest. Using your breath to guide you, inhaling, chin to a shoulder, exhaling, chin to chest. And then inhaling to the other shoulder. Just 
slowly, gently moving the shoulder. Moving the neck side to side, stretching, breathing. On your next exhale, bringing chin to chest, extending the arms and feel a lift of the shoulders. And slowly lift the chin. Reaching up. <clears throat> Bring the arms up. Palms come together. Elbows come together. And clasping your fingers. And then slowly begin to rotate all the way around. <clears throat> Trying to reach all corners of your room. Nice deep extensions of the wrists. There should be no pain. Crunching, popping sounds, they're fine as long as there's no pain or sensitivity. And reverse your rotation. Working the shoulders more, you might lift the elbows higher. And exhale, extend through. The wrists, arms are stretching out, shoulders drop down. Breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the hands to the chair, holding on behind you, and bring the heart forward. Breathe. Inhale, tall. Wrists forward, extend through the wrists, shoulders drop. Inhale, lifting up. Breathe, exhale, hands come down, chest forward, press the shoulder blades together as the heart reaches forward. Inhale, tall, slide the hands to the knees, cat cow. Come forward slightly and on your chair, giving yourself space behind you for cat. Cat belly button comes back towards the chair, chin to chest. Extend the arms, feel the arching of the back. Inhale, slide the hands back to the hips, grabbing the chair and lifting the heart as high as you can, creating the counter curve, opposite flexion of the spine. Inhale, deep breath in, extending the arms, flexing the back towards the chair, Inhaling, sliding the hands back, extending the spine up. Breathe at your own pace. Inhaling tall, exhaling into either cat or cow. Inhaling tall, reaching up with the arms, extending up, and side bends. Right hand down, left comes over, reaching over. Breathe. Extend a little bit deeper. Lift up the heart a little bit taller. Inhale, reach up, deep breath in. Exhale, over. Extend, breathe, lift up the top of the head, heart lifts as you stretch through the side. Remember, try to keep the shoulder blades back against an imaginary wall. Inhale, lifting up again, an imaginary wall. You're welcome to bring the right hand down or keep it up for a more muscular experience. Breathe, extend, shoulder blades are back. Inhale, lift up tall, deep breath in, exhale over. 
Again, you're welcome to drop the left hand now or keep it up like you see me doing for a more muscular experience. Breathe. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come down, shoulders back. Bring them up to the ears and down. And reverse. Deep breath in, lifting up. Exhale, twisting to the right, dropping the left hand to the right knee, right hand to the chair, and nice and tall. Feel the twist in the waist and the ribs. Exhale, chin back. Inhale, unwind, realign, lifting up, exhale, over. Nice and tall, reaching up at the top of the head. Right hand onto the left thigh. It helps as you press against that thigh to twist maybe a little bit more, finding your edge. Inhale, unwind, realign the spine. Even allow yourself to move one arm up and down just to get that full extension. And then exhale to the right. This time, maybe bring the right hand back behind you, reaching for your back wall. Press the feet to the floor. Breathe. Maybe the chin looks back. Feel that twist in the cervical spine. Again, be mindful of the cervical spine, your neck. Inhale, unwind, realign. Nice and tall. Exhale, over to the left. And this time, maybe the left arm extends back. Feel that twist a little bit deeper. And maybe on your next exhale, chin looks back over that left hand. Inhale, unwind, realign, breathe, exhale, hands down. And chin to chest, belly button back, extend the arms forward. Inhale, slide the hands back into cow. Reach up with the heart. Slide the hands back. And gently bring the right arm up. And gently bring the hand to the left side. Bend and extend through the left side. You might even bring the arm up if you feel you need a little more extension or finding a different stretch. Breathe. Inhale, switch hands. Maybe bring the left hand to the upper right side of the head and gently just allowing it to be weight, not necessarily pulling. Just feel that stretch through the right side. This week is really about being thankful, thankful for what we do have. It's been a tough year for many people. It's been a tough year for me. But there's always been a positive, a silver lining. And if you can identify it, if you can see it, life is always a little bit better when you have that perspective. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, palms down. Shoulders up and back. Breathe. Focus on your breath. Carving onto the chair, pressing your left foot to the floor, find that foundation, and press the right foot to the floor. Find that foundation. Knees are over, heels, knees are about hip width apart. Shoulders are up and back, lifting up tall. 
and feel the squeeze of your quadriceps as you lift taller. Feel the squeeze of your glutes as you press the heels into the floor. Feel the core gently working here, lifting, extending, and breathing. Arms come out. This is Tadasana. This is your foundation pose. You can find it in almost every pose that we do, except for maybe Shavasana, where you're completely relaxed. And breathe. Feel and keep the energy. Notice it through the fingertips pointing to the floor, through the top of the head reaching to the sky. Keeping this foundation, we're going to lift up the right arm, extend the left hand down, breathe, switch hands, left hand up, right hand down, extend, breathe. Deep breath in, right hand up, hold the chair with your left. Press the right foot to the floor as your left foot lifts, point, flex. And rotate. You're welcome to drop your right hand if you'd like and hold the chair. Or keep it up. Keep that extension, that energy, and reverse the rotation. All the way around. Feel the strength, the toning going on through your entire body. Now keeping that leg up, extend the arm out, extend the leg out. Breathe, press through the heel. You're welcome to even support that leg if you feel it fatiguing. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, down, shake it out. Find Tadasana. And lift up your left hand. Extend, maybe hold the chair with the right hand. Left foot is strong, good foundation as you lift through the right, press through the heel. Breathe. Exhale out to the center. Holding it here, you're welcome to hold the leg. Inhale back to center, exhale it down. Press your feet to the floor, knees are over the ankle, shoulders up and back. Toes point forward, and slowly tap it out. Pull the chair to help support the spine and the lengthening of the torso. Tap, tap. Nice and wide, tap, tap, tap. Working for here. Breathe, breathe, good. And back to center. Press the feet to the floor, arms come up. Exhale slowly, bring hands to the thighs and reach forward. Legs are slightly extended, slight bend in the knee as you come forward. Feel the stretch in your lower back here. Inhale slowly, lift, use the arms for support, slide back, come in, arms come up, swan dive forward, prepare posture, head, reach to support the knee, side to side movement, breathe. And slowly lifting up, reaching up. Arms come up. Exhale, swan dive one more time. Forward fold. You're welcome to stay in prepare posture so the torso is parallel to the floor or come slowly down a little bit deeper. Wide the knees as you need to and slowly move side to side. If you have a block, this might be a good time to have it underneath you.
and gently. We're going to slowly lift up. Maybe if you have a block or box or something, you can lift up a little bit higher, helping to support the torso. We're gonna press the feet to the floor. Arms are gonna come out. Holding it here, feel the feet. Again, they're your foundation. Pressing them to the floor and lift, lift, lift up. Reaching up, use your core muscles. Exhale, down. Grabbing the chair, bring the feet out nice and wide into goddess legs. So that legs are out angle. The knees are in line with the toes, second and third toes in particular. You should be able to see your big toe from your vantage point if you're sitting up tall, shoulders back. Not coming forward to see the toes, but sitting back. And then you just see the sides of your, insides of your feet. Arms come out and bend at the elbows. Breathe. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press the knees back. Press them back. And now come forward slightly. Breathe. Feel the feet press into the floor. Now exhale to the right. Back to center. Exhale to the left. Back to center. And lifting up, reaching up. Temple, five-pointed star. Extend the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Knees are back still. Exhale, hands down. Bring the knees in. And windshield wiper. Just notice how the hips are feeling. Bring the feet in together and bring the left foot in slightly more to the center of your body. Sitting up tall, lift up the right heel, nice and high, bring the knee, and then gently see if you can cross your legs. And you may have to adjust, you may have to adjust where your legs are in order to cross them. And maybe they won't cross, so maybe you'll just place one foot in front of the other. Or if you have that pillow or block, maybe one foot can just cross over. All right, but if you can, we're coming into eagle legs. And again, you're welcome to use that prop of yours even to place the foot if you can cross and have some support for the foot. And adjust yourself. Make sure both sit bones are on your chair. They're equally placed on your chair. Adjusting the knees so that they're centered to the body. They're not perfectly centered, but in general, both knees are somewhat centered to the body. And then maybe pointing the toe down towards the ankle. Maybe with the help of the left foot, you can get it around the ankle. And we're coming into eagle legs. Shoulders are up and back, arms come out. Breathe and cross the right arm over the left and maybe grab onto the shoulder. Maybe the forearms will come together. Maybe the wrists will reach for each other. Maybe palms touch. Breathe. Uh, really press and have that foundation of your left foot to the floor. Squeeze the thighs or opening up the back of your hips. Exhale slightly forward. You will feel the squeeze in the thighs. If you need to come up, if it's too much, too intense, please do. Inhale, slowly lift up. Reach up the elbows nice and high. Exhale, arms come out, lifting up and down. Unwind your feet, breathe. And windshield wiper, releasing the energy. Letting it flow back easily through the body. Bring the right foot in, 
find the foundation for that right foot as you lift the left knee up and gently come around. Again, you're welcome to use the block in front of you to the side. Wherever you find that you may need it. Both sit bones are on the floor here, or on the chair, excuse me. And then maybe toes to the ankle. Baby comes around and pressing your right foot into the floor. Find that foundation and squeeze the thighs together. Notice the knee positions somewhat center to the body. Shoulders are up and back, arms come up. Now, the left arm comes under the right and grab the shoulder. Maybe the forearms come together. Maybe the palms of your hands. Squeeze. Keep your foundation. Right foot squeezes to the floor. Exhale, forward. Breathe. Inhale, slowly lift up. Lift up the elbows. Feel the opening of the shoulder blade. And exhale, hands down. Open up wide. Exhale down and release the legs. Switch. Bring the legs wide again in dogs. Arms come up into dogs. And bring the heels up. We're going to slowly bring up one heel to the other. Working the foot, the ankle, the calf muscle, the shin. Press the elbows back. You're always welcome to bring the arms down if they start to fatigue. And exhale, lift up both heels. Exhale down, extend the five pointed star. And lift up for temple. Press the knees back. Exhale back to goddess. And we're going to twist to the right knee. Exhale slightly forward. Keep the left leg back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, realign the spine. Exhale to the left. And Deep breath in, exhale down, keep the right knee back, breathe. Inhale, lifting up, unwind. Temple, five pointed star, and hands down, bring shield like this. Bring the knees in slightly, hands onto your knees, lift up through the torso. And then gently begin to bend the knee, the elbows in towards the ribs, torso props. Find here your cobra as you lift the heart a little bit higher, chin stays parallel to the floor, trying not to bring the neck back too far. It's the heart that's lifting. Feel the shoulder blades squeezing, shoulders come back. Exhale, slide the elbows down to your thighs and lift into space. Again, shoulder blades are back, hearts lifting, mindful of your neck. Slide the hands back into cobra, breathe. Now keeping the heart lifting, keeping this gentle extension of your spine, we're going to straighten the arms and deepen this. Again, you can stay in cobra if you wish. And feel the lower back working here. This is a modified up dog. Exhale, extend the arms forward for forward fold. Use your block as you need to. And feel a stretch of the back.
Gently bring the hands to your knees and come up one vertebra at a time. The last thing up will be your chin, shoulders up and back. Breathe. Good. Good time to have a little sip of water. We're going to come up into a standing position. You're welcome to stay seated. So I will try and guide you through the seated positions. Some of them may not be possible for modification. So that we will, um, I'll just guide you into a forward fold. So we're going to come to the back of the chair. And holding on to the chair. Breathe. We're gently going to take a step back so that you're about torso length away, so that you can come forward holding the chair and bring the tailbone up. The hips are right over the heels. Arms can extend and breathe. This is your prepared posture. Inhale, we're going to bring the heart forward. The feet don't move, but the body reclines. It comes forward on an incline, bringing the hips down so that the body is a straight line from the heels to the top of the head. This is a plank. Keep the core strong. You can use your hands and extend the arms. You can place your hands, if comfortable, onto the chair. You're even welcome to come and bring the hands to the seat of your chair, coming lower and deeper into a more intense plank. You're welcome even to use a wall and bring your forearms against the wall and come into an incline towards the wall. Breathe. Inhale, come back to your prepared posture. So even in chair, coming into prepared posture. Breathe and slowly walk and bring your heart through the shoulders, through the arms, into a down dog. Allow the heart to drop. You're welcome to come deeper by walking hands down, down the chair, but still keep the head through the arms and walk the dog, bending one knee at a time, extending the other leg. Deep breath in, slowly walk your hands up, finding your plank. So core is strong, straight spine, top of the head towards the heels, a nice long line. Finding your plank on chair, on the wall, or even on the floor if you feel comfortable there. Gently come into a prepared posture, breathe. And walk your feet forward, find Tadasana. So Tadasana in chair, Tadasana standing. And bring the feet apart, coming into goddess. Bring the toes out slightly at an angle, as long as the knees are in line with the second and third toes. And slowly, Bending, if you're standing, bending your knees out as if you're going to sit in a chair. Your back is sliding against an imaginary wall, holding on to the chair for support. Breathe, keep the knees out, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your quads, press more into the heel than into the toes. 
There should be no pain in your knees and your hips. If there is, you're welcome to do this seated. Breathe. Inhale, lift up. Arms come out, five-pointed star. Lifting up into morning glory. Exhale, back to five-pointed star. And hands down, finding your goddess pose. Maybe bringing one arm up for balance. For those who feel very balanced, maybe the other arm. Again, in chair, press or standing, press the shoulder blades back, press the knees back. Again, there should be no pain in your knees. If you feel the energy coursing through your legs, contracted glutes. Now bring up one heel, down. The other heel, down. Bring your hands down if you're standing as you need to for balance. Now both heels up. Bring the heels up. Hold. Press the shoulders back. And down. Extend up. Squeeze those glutes. Shoulders back. Arms up. And slowly bring feet together. And down. Shake it out. Windshield wiper if you're in the chair. Or gently rotate if you're standing. Both directions, rotating all the way around. And lifting up, shoulders up and back. Breathe, coming to your chair. We're going to lift the heels up. This will be our balance pose for today. It's palm three. I did it last week um, in person. So if you joined us in person last week, you'll remember this. If not, I'll try and do a side view. And your feet are in Tadasana. So making sure you feel that foundation. Shoulders are up and back. Even in chair, find your Tadasana. Fingertips towards the floor. Top of the head reaches up to the sky and slowly lift the heels up. Breathe. Hold the chair as you need to for balance. Shoulders back. Slight bend in the knees so those shins are slightly forward. As your heels come up higher, the knees come forward more. Breathe. Maybe one arm comes back. Nice and open. Maybe the other hand. Foundation is on the tops of your toes, the tiptoes. Heels are up. Find a focal point for balance if both hands have disengaged from the chair and you are standing. Exhale, heels down. Relax the arms, shake it out. All right, we're going to do this with our eyes closed, so you will be holding on to the chair. You'll notice the movement, the effort going on through the entire body. So find your Tadasana. Hold on to the chair. And exhale, lift up your heels. Now slowly close your eyes and bring awareness to your breath. Bring awareness to the effort, the work going on. By lifting one hand, you'll notice how important your balance is here. Keeping the core strong, keeping that foundation, that pose of Tadasana still. Strong legs, strong core, strong shoulder. Exhale, heels down, relax. And gently press your toes down onto the floor. And deep breath in. Exhale everything out. 
shake it out. All right, one last bit of work. And for those in chair, it'll be a forward fold. For those standing, it will be a warrior three. So with our warrior three, we're going to bring the left foot back. You're holding on to the chair and finding a lunge. The knee should be, the front knee should be right over the ankle. So try not to bring that knee forward, bring it back. Extend the back leg as much as you like. And feel the strength here, feel the stretch in your hamstring. And those in chair, you're welcome to do, if you know how to do lunge in chair, to rotate the body to the right side of the chair, right knee is out to the side, and then the left leg is out behind you. And slowly press the right foot into the floor. For those in chair, come back, knee center, and come into a forward fold. And then for those standing, press the right foot into the floor. Begin to press against the left toes, lifting forward, reaching and lifting that back foot. It may be right there. You may be just kind of off the floor, just an inch of the left foot. Or you might guide it up, trying to keep that left hip in line with the right as you come forward. Use the chair to support you however you need to, holding on to it. Press through the right, the left heel. Breathe. Maybe extending one arm, maybe extending the other arm. This is a balance pose, strong right leg. Find that Tadasana leg. Slowly bring the hands back, bring the foot back, shake it out. Lift up if you're in chair, out of your forward fold. Breathe. And ready for the other side, holding on to the chair. And if you're in chair, you're welcome to immediately pivot around to the left side. Left, uh, left knee is forward, the right leg is back. For those standing, extend the right leg back. Now, left knee is bent, knee over the ankle, not uh, forward in front of it, and stretch it out here. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Breathe. Shoulders back. Press your foot into the floor. For those in chair, come into your forward fold, pivoting back to center. For those standing, press that left knee, left foot into the floor. Feel the right heel lift up higher. Start to extend the left knee. Reach up maybe a little bit with that right foot. And that may be it. Or you might be able to lift up higher, maybe coming into a tabletop, trying to keep the right hip in line with the left. I like to bring the right toe in towards the left leg. Breathe. Hold in here, feel the strength in Tadasana leg in the left leg. Eyes are looking down, good spinal alignment. Shoulders are up and back. Maybe one arm can extend, maybe the other. And slowly come down, standing up, lifting up if you're in forward fold. Reach back with the feet, torso length away, prepare posture. Now full forward fold. You're allowed to walk the hands down the chair. You can touch the floor. Use a block. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, bend your knees, slowly lift up, reaching up. Exhale, hands come down, shake it out. And reverse. Do you notice the pressure on the feet, on the edge of the foot, tips of your toes, the other edge, the heels, and reverse. Windshield wiper for those in the chair. And come back to center, shoulders up and back. Find your Tadasana. And relax. Coming into chair, I'm about to cool you down. This is where we'll use the strap. And slowly lift your toes. Breathe, exhale down. Lift your heels, exhale down. Reach your hands forward. Deep breath in, and then slowly, Exhale, chin to chest. Lifting up your chin, find your strap, your belt, a rope, a towel. Hand towel works almost depending on length, works well. And then slowly holding on to the strap, both hands. And lift up. Reach up, good posture, inhale, tall. Exhale slowly down. One more time. Inhale, maybe a little bit deeper, further back. Opening the shoulders, the shoulder blades are squeezing in together. Feel the armpits. Breathe. Exhale slowly down. And one more time. Inhale, lift. Maybe increasing the distance between the hands. Maybe coming back a little bit deeper. Breathe. This one is usually where people hold their breath, so breathe. And slowly come back around. Breathing, remembering to breathe through the hardest part. And exhaling down, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, relaxing your hands. Bring in your right knee. Exhale it out and in. Extend through the right heel and bring it in for pigeon. Notice there should be no pain in your knee. Both sit bones should be on the chair. My 90 degree angle at the foot usually helps protect the knee or to reduce sensitivity. Adjusting that foot up or down will also um, change how the knee feels. So just listen to the body. Inhaling up tall and then hinging at the hip, coming forward. Belly comes closer to the thighs. Heart reaches forward, top of the head reaches forward.
deep breath in. Again, slowly begin to lift up, reaching up the top of the head. Arms come up. Exhale, hands down. Gently lifting the leg up. And again, or coming off of that block of the floor, just gently move the leg out to the side and in. Bringing it in, finding that foundation, and then lifting maybe the left leg up. Again, you're welcome to bring it onto a bolster, a block, a pillow, blanket, or if you can, bringing it up to your thigh. Nice and tall, shoulders back, and exhale forward. With each breath, maybe coming deeper. Slowly inhale, lifting up, nice and tall, good posture. Gently lifting the leg up and then extending out. Breathe. Maybe rotating the ankles one at a time. Sitting up tall, bring the hands to the knees, lifting the heart and feeling that nice long spine. We'll do a gentle fire breath, right? Just a count of just a count of thirty, using the abdominal muscles to help push the diaphragm. It's going to be an active exhalation, quickly out, and an involuntary passive inhalation. It's quick and it's active. Trying to get all the old air out, bringing in fresh air to the lungs. So inhale in, feel that belly extend up, press back. Now use the muscles here to push. Just completely open now. Deep breath in, exhale out the mouth. One more time, inhale in, arms come up. Exhale everything out, dropping knuckles onto the thigh. Closing the eyes gently.
Allow your mind to focus on the breath. Relaxing the face, relaxing the jaw, the shoulders, the lips. Inhale deeply, exhale everything out. Arms come out, reaching up into prayer. And allowing your elbows to relax by the sides. Allow the chin to gently drop and then lift up. May today there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there for each and every one of us. That light, that gift in each and every one of you, I see and I honor. May you be blessed. And may you find gratitude in all of the blessings that you have received. I wish you a blessed Thanksgiving. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. And remember, there are classes tomorrow, but there are no classes on Thursday. So have a wonderful holiday. Take care. And I thank you all. I thank Prime Plus for offering these classes to you. Safe travels and be safe, be wise.